What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Bad Dog, back with another New York Giants video. I was two years old in 1978 when the initial miracle in the Meadowlands happened, when Herm Edwards picked up Joe Pisarczyk's fumble, ran it into the end zone, and the Eagles beat the Giants 19-17 to in a game that they had no business winning. I don't remember that. I wasn't old enough to remember that. Throughout the 80s, I know the Eagles always gave the New York Giants a hard time. We did go back and forth a lot. There was a lot of good battles. But I can remember Carl Banks having Randall Cunningham wrapped up for a sack and somehow Cunningham getting away from it, throwing a touchdown. I can remember 1990, we start the year off 10-0. and We go down into Philadelphia, and they beat the hell out of us 31-13, to ending our 10-game winning streak. And I can obviously remember 2008, which is one of the worst losses of my career, my Giants fandom. Actually, probably was the worst loss because I know that 2018 was the most complete Giants team I ever saw. There's no doubt in my mind if Plaxico Burst doesn't shoot himself, we beat Philadelphia because he killed the Eagles. We walked through Arizona. We would have killed them, walked into the Super Bowl, beat the Steelers. Would have won Super Bowl 43. There's not a doubt in my mind. We beat the Steelers earlier in the year. The New York Giants were the best team in football in 2008 until Plaxico Burst shot himself. Missed opportunity. 2010 was another one. We should have ended up being the second seed in the NFC. But with seven minutes and 30 seconds to go in the fourth quarter, somehow we blow a 21-point lead and Deshaun Jackson returns a freaking punt, which should have never been punted to him at the end of regulation, lose a game 38-31 to in Miracle in the Meadowlands 2. Over the last 10 to 12 years, the Philadelphia Eagles have absolutely kicked the living hell out of us in every way, shape, and form. 2017, we lose on a 61-yard field goal. 2018, we're up 19-3 to at the half. Saquon Barkley's running through them like a hot knife through butter. Pat Shermer decides to stop running him for whatever reason. We end up losing. And then, of course, the first game this year, Darius Slayton has 154 yards and two touchdowns in the first half. The Giants are rolling all over him 17-3. to And then, all of a sudden, in the second half, Pat Shermer decides not to throw there. And we end up losing the game in overtime. The last three years, we've had opportunities to beat this team. And for whatever freaking reason, we can never, ever close the door on the Philadelphia Eagles. I can't stand this damn team. I hate it. The New York Giants have blown their tank. They've won the last two games against two really bad teams. And as much as I love seeing Daniel Jones throw five touchdowns and Saquon Barkley have career highs and total yards and rushing yards, I completely understand Giants fans who are upset about losing, or upset about winning, rather, losing Chase Young. I can see that. I can see Giants fans that are happy about winning and trying to build a winning culture and giving these young guys some confidence. I completely understand that. I see both sides of it. I do. This game doesn't matter. I don't give a damn about draft position. I don't give a damn about James Betcher. I don't give a damn about Pat Shermer. I don't give a damn about any of this. We're not getting Chase Young. We're not getting Andrew Thomas. So what is the difference between pick and fourth and pick and sixth? I want the New York Giants to end the Philadelphia Eagles season on Sunday. No doubt in my mind. Beat this damn team. We need to exact a measure of revenge on this team for the last 10 years in which they've owned us. And that's what they've done. They've owned us. There's no doubt about it. They have. They have sent us heartbreaking defeats year after freaking year. And what better way to end a terrible season than to knock out your most hated division rival out of the playoffs by beating them in a game that means nothing to you. It's Eli Manning's last game at MetLife Stadium. It's Eli Manning's last game as a New York Giant. Which better way for the New York Giants to end his career, although he's not going to start? He will be in there at some point. I guarantee it. This is going to be a long week. It's going to be a tough week for Giants fans. There's no doubt about it. It's going to be very emotional because it's his last game as a New York Giant, our greatest quarterback in the history of this franchise, which has won two Super Bowl MVPs. He's a Hall of Famer. He's a class act. There's no doubt in my mind I'm going to get choked up when I watch him go off the field. What better way for Eli Manning to end his career as a New York Giant than with a W against the most hated rival that we have in a game which means nothing to us but everything to them? Let's snatch their freaking heart out of their chest. It's about damn time that we turn the tables on the Philadelphia Eagles because I'm sick and tired of losing to this damn team. I'm sick of it. It makes me sick to my stomach every time I see that booger green uniform. I hate it. I hate that stupid wing on their helmet. I hate their stupid coach. I hate their stupid quarterback. I hate everything about them. End their season. New York Giants, you owe it to us as fans to beat that team and end their season. For the last three years of crap that you put us through, you owe it to us. For never being able to beat this team, you owe it to us. Guys that are sit there and loyal week in and week out, buy your merchandise, watch your games, take three and a half hours out of our Sunday to watch you guys play poorly most of the time. 
You owe it to the fan base. You owe it to Eli Manning. You owe it to the Giants organization. You owe it to everybody that roots their ass off for this team week in and week out to beat the Philadelphia Eagles and knock them the hell out of the playoffs. That's all I'm asking. I don't care about drafting sixth. I don't care about drafting seventh. I don't give a damn about any of that right now. All I care about is knocking out the Philadelphia Eagles and ending their season in December so they can sit next to us on the couch and watch everybody else play in the playoffs. That's what I want to see. Get it done, Giants. Get it done. Eagle fans ain't going to like the video? I don't care. Don't need to like it. But you got to respect the hate. That's what goes on here. Hate the Eagles. Beat them. Knock them the hell out. This is our Super Bowl. Give the Giants fans something to cheer about. Do it for Eli Manning. That's all you got to do. Get it done. It's bad dog, and I am gone. Peace!